Hello friends, trust you are all well and safe. Today we bring to you an old video from our trip to Tal Chapar, Rajasthan way back in 2017. Known for its black bucks, raptors and migratory birds, Tal Chapar is a small but brilliantly protected grassland. I can go on talking about Tal Chapar but however this video is not about Tal Chapar if you want more details. Uh, you can go look up my blog, whose link is provided down in the description. While we were out on one of the safari trips into the grassland, we got off our vehicles to take a closer look at some birds closer to the fence, and uh, uh, we were kind of busy shooting, chit-chatting, and once we were done with it, we ambled back to our vehicle, and on the way, we saw a new guy at a distance, walking slowly towards us. We didn't think much about it because these animals are quite common and uh, we just boarded our vehicles. While we were waiting for the driver to start, another Neil guy uh, walked up from right behind us and uh, this Neil guy we had not seen at all. It was pretty fortunate that we were already in the vehicle, otherwise it could have been a bad mess because these animals are quite powerful and they can do a lot of damage. Soon enough, these two animals, which happen to be bulls, uh, started sizing each other up and, uh, and inevitably there was this wrestling match that began. The only sounds we could hear was the thump of body on body, our breathing, and the camera shutters shooting over merrily. Neil Rai, or Bosnophorus, Trago camel is as it's scientifically known, is the largest Asian antelope and it's ubiquitous across the Indian subcontinent, especially in the north. Females and juveniles are orange to tawny, while the males are much darker, their coat being typically bluish grey. The males have horns, while females mostly do not, and these horns are about 12 to 24 centimeters long, to a maximum of about 30 centimeters. Smooth and straight, these horns could be pointing backwards or forwards. Neil guys prefer areas with short bushes, scattered trees and scrub forests and grassy plains. They are also common in agricultural lands but hardly ever occur in dense woods. Because of this very nature, Neil guys can also be a nuisance to the farmers. These animals are active mostly during the day with peak feeding occurring during the dawn. Females and juveniles do not interact with the males except during the mating season and these animals are generally found in small groups with 10 or fewer individuals. Rarely though, groups of 20 to 70 individuals can occur. In mating season, the males move about in search of females in estrus and males become aggressive and fight among themselves for dominance. These fights, as you see in the video, are characterized by displays of enlarged chest, throat patch and the beard while holding the head upright and threatening the opponent by running with horns pointed towards him or and circling him. Fights though take place in both sexes and involve pushing their necks against each other or running into one another using these horns. Sometimes these fight can be gory and despite the protective skin, deep lacerated wounds and even death can occur. Post mating, the gestation period is about 8 to 9 months, following which a single calf or twins are born. Calves are precocial and they can stand within 40 minutes of birth and they also begin to forage by the fourth week. Pregnant females usually isolate themselves before giving birth. As typical of several bovid species, male guy calves are kept in hiding for the first few weeks of their lives. Trust you enjoyed watching this pairing as much as we did as we watched Slack Jod. Thanks for watching. Till next time, stay home, stay safe. Bye.